is happening, guys? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to be seen. Um, so as you can see, today we're going to be taking a look at the EMP EDC Nimble X. We're going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison with the original Nimble. Uh, that way you can see just the size difference, uh, you know, any other small variations between the two and what have you. Before we get into that, let's go ahead and do a quick panic dump and beverage check and check out what I had riding around in my pockets. Uh, knife wise, I was carrying the Cold Steel uh, Code 4 and this is a fantastic uh, lock back with the, that super strong triad lock. Uh, and I was also carrying the uh, Kaiser Pickle. Um, and both of these, uh, incidentally, were uh, gifts courtesy of a Javon. So uh, yeah, I was talking with those guys today. Uh, and then I also, uh, in the way of pocket accoutrement, had the Urban EDC F5.5 coin. And that was courtesy of Stevie said Stevie. I said Stevie Wonder Woman. Um, so another another gift. But now that I'm looking at it, literally everything in my pocket today, except for uh, Zippo and the pin, were gifts. Cause this, which uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be thanking him or if he is the bane of my existence, but this was a gift from my good buddy, uh, Bama Ninja. Little fidget that got me walking around, uh, clicking and clacking all day long and uh, looking on websites for other such clicky and clacky and um, haptic-y type things. And I hate myself a little bit, but I'll get over it. I'm just joking, it's, it's good fun, man. It's, you just, I don't know. I guess freaking lefty's right, man. It's, oh, and that physically hurt to say. Oh, but yeah, apparently lefty was right, and once you get one in hand, you understand and you feel the pull because you do, and I do, and it, it did, and I it does. Oh god, I'm gonna have to edit that part out because I can't let that be public knowledge. Anyway, so the next uh, item, or last item actually, was the uh, this wallet that I have literally destroyed with my body funk. Because this thing was green and brown at one time, and now it's, I would almost call it black. Uh, but that's patina, that's patina for you. I mean, it is, dude, that thing, <laughs> and it's so, I mean, it wasn't like, like hard, crusty leather to begin with, but it was, you know, it was good, it was like stiff new leather now it's just so soft and bendy but uh yeah that which i mean i carry it every day so it's gonna get funked up a little bit but yeah so er, literally everything except for the pen and and lighter that i was carrying today were gifts so let's get these guys out of the way Of lefty, if once you get one in hand, you'll see what the hype's all about because it's crazy. It is, it really is. Um, oh, and before uh, we go any further, also, if you guys are in the market for uh, anything embroidered, go hit up the old EDC round table and check out our good buddy Forrest. Forest Hanks, he makes some spectacular products, and unfortunately, I do. I need, you know what? I need to follow my own advice and get on EDCRoundtable.com and and uh, get something because I don't have a uh, a Forest Hank on me, and I need to have one readily available at all times. And I'm getting ahead of myself, but oh, oh, beverage check, beverage check, beverage check. All right, so this guy right here, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, when I first tried it. I loathed it, despised it, hated it with 
pissed off that I even had bought it because I didn't really read. I don't even see where I saw. I think I, I just think I freaking um, blocked this word out or something. But I, I just saw it as a uh, Northeast style hazy IPA. I was like, oh, I haven't tried that one, and I like the stuff that Rogue makes. Um, because when I lived out in California, I drank a good bit of, uh, that was one of the bigger um, craft brew companies out there. And so I drank a pretty good bit of uh, stuff from Rogue, but I'd never had this, so I got it. I get it home, and I take a big old swig, and my damn mouth about turned inside out because it is a sour IPA and I've had you know I've had sours in the past so I mean I realized what it was as soon as I took a swig but it was a, a shock and I wasn't expecting it and I didn't like it just immediately but then I tried another one and another one and it's growing on me it's pretty good it's not my favorite it's still tart as hell um, but it is uh, it's got a decent flavor to it and you know the tartness comes from kind of a grapefruit flavor and I'm I did grapefruit, so I'm, I'm kind of cool with it. Um, oh, but we have a paragraph. We have a fucking paragraph. It says, Combat Wombat is a fusion of hazy, sour, and fruity, all tied together with a hefty dose of Australian hops. Okay, so that's who's to blame. Old Josh and Brad and our other uh, Funda from Down Under friends. It's their fault. Uh, but no. Anyway, oozing aromas of citrus and tropical fruit, Combat Wombat glows a vivid gold, while notes of tart grapefruit and sweet blood orange battle in a barrage of flavor with a fruity hop profile, but reconcile peacefully in a tangy finish. If you say so. To me, it just tastes tart and fruity and like beer. You got cheese So, anywho, guys. Cheers. You know what? Let's rewind. <laughs> haven't done a freaking shout out in a while. And uh, being as he is a newer fella to the community and um, a new friend because we actually met in person, uh, let's go ahead and give old Tim a. The Bama Ninja, a shout out. So, uh, cheers, Brother Tim. All right. So, let's get down to brass tacks. And by brass tacks, I don't know what I mean because I don't really know what that saying means. I mean, I do, I just don't. Brass tacks, what, who cares about? I mean, I like brass. And brass tacks. I don't, we're getting down to them. Anyway, so this is a little side-by-side -side dog and pony show between uh, this little guy, the original Nimble from, well, this is not, I don't think this is the first generation, but the original sized uh, Nimble from EMP. EDC, and as you can see, CCE, uh, pretty fantastic uh, machining there. Everything's nice and clean and crisp. Got some nice, uh, nice belt set and finish. Oh no, this is a stone wash. Ooh, got a nice stone wash on this yawn blade. I think it would look better with a with a belt set and finish. That's why I said that. Um, but yeah, the finish looks really, really good. Very even. It's not all blotchy and dooflotchy. You can see right there, everything looks nice, nice. Action is pretty spectacular. Spectacular. And then he, uh, put a little bit of money and, and, and invested in a nimble stretcher nimble stretching machine and made uh, this guy which looks I mean very very similar handle handle wise 
like identical um, as far as the shape, everything. Um, the size of the pivot is quite a bit bigger, <clears throat> but I mean, same construction, all that, that same milling on the inside, same size pocket clip, same size hardware, uh, same uh, backspacer to handle ratio now. Uh, the blade shape is a bit different and it does, instead of just being, I don't even know what you would call that little pill shaped doodad right there, but like, I don't know, uh, 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 a faux fuller. Uh, this is, you know, he brought it on out to the end of the blade there and it's an actual full sized, a full fuller. And I, which it doesn't matter because you know it's got the hole there, but I'm wondering, and you can, but like I said, why? Um, but yeah, I mean that looks pretty pretty nifty, and it gives the uh, if you're looking at the spine, it gives the little profile kind of a different different shape there. If you look at from left to right, the difference between where the uh, fuller pops out on the end to as opposed to just having that swedge right there gives it a whole different look so when you looking at it closed it it does appear to be a, almost a different knife but still uh, it's very very attractive I, I never mind I'll get to that later I'll get to that later I'm getting ahead of myself but yeah it's a good looking blade very very uh, utilitarian um, and I mean while still being attractive but uh, yeah it, it does lend itself to some some good uh, accomplishment of cutting tasks very very useful <clears throat> but yeah so I mean besides the difference in the blade shape it is for all intents and purposes the same exact knife just bigger um i mean i'm gonna have to honestly say i do i prefer uh, this this knife aesthetically over this knife and also uh size wise i uh now to, to me and i'm surprised that he he made it this much bigger but i mean it makes sense he, gave it a half inch more blade length so you kind of kind of gotta make everything fit around that and I'm just guessing he that's where he started I don't know uh, but I, I'm just assuming that he was going for a little you know a half inch longer blade and then just had to make everything else kind of fit around it I could be 100% wrong but that's just what it seems like to me and I do I, I need to contact him because I, I want to know um, I mean if it was just a matter of him not him wanting to make a bigger knife but not just a bigger nimble him wanting to make say like the nimble X be a bigger nimble but also uh, its own knife in its own rights uh, because I just I'm curious as to why he changed uh, the blade shape and ran that fuller on out. Um, me, I would assume, if you uh, had a nimble and then a mini mini nimble, it would just be the same exact knife but smaller, and vice versa. Uh, the the large nimble or extra large, it's going to be the same exact knife but larger. So yeah, I was I was a that was a, the other thing that surprised me was the the fact that he changed the blade shape, um, but I mean that, that just very minimally. I mean he basically brought the point down a little bit more so that you know you're not you, it's got well. I mean, honestly, the, the, the cutting edges line up from tip to uh, to the heel there. Huh. It's odd. But 
But yeah, I mean, these guys are super popular and rightfully so. I don't know of many people uh, out there that don't like them. And if they don't already own one, uh, really would like to get a hold of one. Um, and they're, I mean, they're fantastic Goog because they function very well as, you know, their intended purpose uh, as a knife, as a cutting tool. But then again, they're also very aesthetically pleasing. Um, they're very satisfying to to uh, deploy to fidget with, and uh, I mean, it's, it's got it's got the trifecta, man. And, and, uh, it's got an opening hole and then two flippers. Um, can't think of anything else that it could possibly maybe a button. <laughs> Make it button lock nimble, and then you got the old swang, which. Honestly, I cannot stand. I think that is a horrible way to open a knife, and I don't know why it just it does not appeal to me at all. But yeah, I mean, the the, the larger one is every bit as uh, satisfying uh, fidget-wise as as this one, and um, yeah, and it 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 feels the uh, that nimble sized hole that uh, the guys that prefer larger knives uh, might have in their heart now there's a a larger nimble so they can take this larger nimble even though they might have to um, kind of adjust their modify their the hole in their heart because it's not exactly the same shape but yeah they can they can fill that 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 hole that uh, nimble size nimble shaped hole that has left them wanting and, and maybe even caused uh, many a knife lover to uh, fall off the wagon and become rip-roaring drunks, which I doubt. I don't think anybody has become a drunk over not having a certain style knife in a size that they prefer, but maybe, you never know. Um, but, I mean, that's really, there's not whole lot to say about the Nimble X um, besides it's a larger nimble with a slightly uh, different blade shape and a, uh, a fuller that goes all the way to the end um, because everything that really could be said is uh, has already been said in reference to the original but yeah I, uh, uh, I have no allegiance because I don't own either one of these but I just personally prefer the smaller. Uh, it's just more my my speed. But I can see how maybe after you know having this guy here in pocket for a week or so, I would grow to love him equally. But I don't know. Just uh, something about this is just the uh, perfect size knife for me. This is what I I dig. You know, maybe, 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 just a tiny bit. No, no, nope, that's perfect size. Uh, because, well, uh, it's just been so long since I had the uh, F5.5, I can't even really remember, but that was the perfect knife, and still is. It's the one that got away. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much really all there is to say about the guy. I mean more uh, about letting you guys take an extended look at him and uh, see him in action than it was really comparing because I mean it kind of goes without saying the nimble X extra large nimble it's going to be bigger than the original nimble but you know, just kind of put it in perspective um you know what I don't know let's see if I have I oh, got the old penguin everybody knows about what size the penguin is so we'll put this in give you a little uh perspective here there you got it's very very similar in size to the original nimble so put them put the, uh, right about there maybe a little bit more forward yeah, I mean we're looking looking at that right there that's that's the size difference I don't know a lot of people who don't own a penguin so uh, you can kind of get an idea of what you'd be looking at if you decided to buy one. Um, 
But like I said, as far as the functionality of it, the uh, fit and finish, the um, quality, I, I can't, there's really nothing for me to say because everybody knows the quality of EMP, EDCs, and eyes, or else they wouldn't be so popular. But yeah, so basically just uh, looks and size wise, that's what you're looking at guys. But I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. I love each and every one of you. And until next time guys, get on out there, EDC your ass off, and do something nice for somebody. Thanks guys. Bye bye. Ready.